Fix the seat up. Hurry back there. Move on. If we don't get out of Ahmed's territory by night, no one will be alive in the bunny. Move on there. Pick up those seats. Hurry back there. We have to get out of here. Come on there. Come on. Pick up those seats back there. Come on there. Hurry. We have to get out of here. Come on there. Come on. By far there. This Nagashia yaps the heel. After we've lost half of the company trying to get these machine guns to Tabala. Right you are, Muggsy. And what's all the blooming rush about anyway? Gashia says Ahmed's trying to stir up the hill tribes for another try of the border outposts. That's true, we'll need more machine guns than we got in the whole legion. I got a hunch, Trotter, we're gonna wish we stayed at home. <laughs> By four, police! And hurry! I can live on bum grub. I didn't kick when we had to give up our drinking water to them jackasses back there, but that guy Garcia gets me down. There goes Joseph. Trying to do. Let him have a drink of water. Get off, I say. You may be the best soldier in the Legion, but if the Colonel saw you do that, you'd lose your stripes. When we get back to Tabala, you'll all go to the Pier and Battalion for this. Take cover! The Arabs got some bomb machine guns. We'll be lucky if they don't get all of them and us too. Sergeant! 
Sergeant. Those monkeys up there have got us cut off. Let me go out and clean them out. Go. Oh, it's that body. It's suicide. We can't afford to lose men. Give me some bombs and I'll go round the hill. All right, go ahead. We'll get the head grenade. Muggsy, want to come with me? Sure. Add up, boy. Stay close by me. Cover them with your fire. Bob and that Brooklyn Beagle don't get them, it's goodbye to the 20th. Hey, Bob, That was fine work. We forget about the Joseph's mother. Report. First squad, one missing. Second squad, two dead, one missing. Third squad, all dead. some Legion guns that shoot many times. How many of my men did it take to get them? As many as the fingers on two hands twice. The guns, they are new ones? They are, yes, but in many parts. We know not how to put them in one piece. Then they are no good at all. Machine guns, and nobody who knows how to use them. There are many Legionnaires in Tabala. Perhaps I can persuade one of them to... It is dangerous to take a Legionnaire prisoner. But it is worth the risk. Go. Do what is possible. I guess just well that sniper got Joseph. He never made it through to Bala. I wonder what makes a fella like Joseph's join up with an outfit like this. He was a funny sort of fella. You know, he once told me he was running away from himself. That's a hot one, ain't it? Running away from himself. <laughs> well, maybe I'm running away from myself. Are you, Muggsy? No, I'm running away from the law. Ever think of going back? Boy, if I could ever see Flatbush again, I'd, I'd live in a manhole. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll bet ten sous that Bilgey here got himself in some trouble with a little cutie pie in London. <laughs> huh? How did you know that? Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> well, you see, uh, her husband was in the Navy, and the blooming blighter got leave at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, it ain't none of our business, but 
I've often wondered what brought you in this outfit. Well, Muggsy, soldiering's about the only game I know. I found I was a pretty fair machine gunner and people would pay me for my services. My first job was with Sun Yat Sen's North China Army. After that, I did a hitch in Mexico. Then I went with Rivera to Morocco. When that blew up, I joined the Legion. Ever been back? Twice. I wouldn't have gone at all, except I wanted to see my younger brother. Got a brother? Yes. Yeah. Ah. Swell kid. Where's his nibs now? In college. Believe me, there's going to be none of this messing about for him. He's going places. Like to take a look? Hey, the swell kid. I salute the 20th Marching Company with pride and respect. Pride, because I have the honor to command you. Respect, because the bravery and sacrifice you have shown during your weeks in the desert have added new glory to the record of the Foreign Legion. I wish it were possible to give you more than the customary 24 hours leave. Unfortunately, I cannot do so. A detachment of recruits arrived from today, 10 days ago. They've been assigned to the 20th Company. You will meet them when they return from practice march today. I expect you veterans to whip them into shape as fast as possible. Sergeant, take charge of your company. Pension! It's this! Ah, oh. <laughs> Say, anyone around here got a cigarette? Ain't been a cigarette in our outfit in days. Oh, thank you. Oh, sir. look at well, you. You boys yeah. have a tough time, no? Uh, the answer is yes. <laughs> Don't start talking. Let's go and get some sleep. Sleep? Listen to him. With two months' pay in our pocket and a thousand gallons thirst, he wants to sleep. <laughs> well, I'm going to scrape my face and go on down to the Cafe Royal and knock the top off a bottle of brandy. Oh, there's an idea. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Country such a maze. Over sands of the desert we ride, winds of Sahara speed us right. Gallop faster, always faster, speed ahead, obey thy master. Hearts are racing, thoughts embracing, so to be adored. We do not care what tomorrow may bring, let's dream of love and always sing. what you was thinking. And thinking's all I'm gonna do about it with that blighter sitting over there. Nina's about the only thing you and Garcia ain't tangled over. I don't fool with his women and he doesn't fool with mine. She don't feel that way about you, though. Well, That's well, her hard luck. Well, here we are. Here's mud in your eye. Oh. Nina, my sherry. Your voice was as charming as ever. Thank you. Come, sit down. Hi. I've been thinking of you all the time I've been away. Have you missed me, Nina? But of course, Sergeant. Always I miss you when you have gone to fight. Cigarette? All right. I see some other legionnaires I should greet. Oh, but you shouldn't pay attention to Riff Ruff when I'm here. Riff Ruff? My legionnaires, riffraff, I won't have you talk like that. <laughs> Which legionnaire is it? Carter? 
I am interested in him, yes. I am interested in all who fight for France. It's a lucky thing for him you put in the whole legion to the help of Private Carter. Here is hoping he keeps it. As you know, we're in a state of war with some Arab tribes. You men are badly needed here. You also knew. I warn you that the safety and reputation of the legion are maintained by the strictest discipline. To relax for one moment may mean death. I expect you all to serve with that spirit. Sergeant, take charge of the company. The following men, step one face to the front. Louis Martin, Don Carter, Jose Burgess. You men report to Corporal Adu, Barrack B. Dismissed. Where's Corporal Adu? Right here. Oh. The sergeant told us to report to you. My name's Carter. Carter? We have already made of the name of Captain in the company. Yes, sir. He's my brother. Your brother, huh? Where is he? Most likely at the cafe. Say, does he know you joined the Legion? I'll say not. I haven't seen him in years. What a nice surprise for him. Come on, boys. I'll show you your bunks. Hey, Bob, did you... Huh? Did you ever... <coughs> did you ever have a case of... <coughs> of the... Uh... <coughs> hey, what's the bloody idea using my sleeve for the cospador? Been holding out a bottle on it, huh? I'm glad you broke it. <coughs> You ever have a case of the hiccups? <laughs> Not me. I never had hiccups in all my life. Blimey, <laughs> 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 that ain't no hiccups. <laughs> Why, when I was in England, I was the champion of hiccups. You listen to that. <laughs> Funny, I used to walk. <laughs> I can't understand why that won't Let's get out of here, get in some fresh air. Arthur! Yes? I'm so very glad you returned safely to Tabala. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Many of the poor legionnaires were lost in the desert. Yes, almost half the company. Oh, I'm so very proud. Many more would have been lost, but for your bravery. Oh, I only did what any of the others would have done, just happened to be me, that's all. Please. Why do you always run away from me? Are you afraid? Well, we'll call it that, if you like. No, no, no. You are a brave man. Oh, no. no just a little bit bright, that's all. What do you mean? I'm too smart to get mixed up with another fellow's girl. So you too think I belong to Sergeant Garcia? I am nice to him because he's a good soldier. He does not own me. Maybe not. But you can't make him believe that. Hey. Hey, where's my gig? He went down that... No. He went down... I don't know. What did you want to leave a nice, cool bar for? Well, I mean, you and... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go find Muggy. Yeah. <laughs> Get up. Get up. I've shot at arrows. I've pelted them with machine guns, and I've thrown bombs at them. But I can't stand by and see even an Arab made a fool of by a jackass. He ought to build a fire under the beast. That's what we used to do in England. No, we didn't build a fire. We poured water down his neck. <laughs> You're wrong, Bill Jimmy boy. You're wrong. The human element that's at fault. We should build the fire under the arrows. Yes. 
Leave it to me, my good man. <laughs> my good fellow, keep away. I will well, have hey, talk with you. you. Never mind, old fellow. He always builds you when he's at his well, work. Listen, and this don't is not he being he done around here. Use don't a little don't bit of diplomacy or discretion. Can't you understand? We can't stand it. Oh, you're on a fight for your own. Why, they're legionnaires. Come on. Great work, Bilgy. Uh, you all right? Oh, I'm all right. Gone! Bob! Oh, come on. So what are you doing in this? Oh, I'm in the Legion. You're in the Legion? Well, of course. What's wrong with that? Of course, it's all right, kid, but I mean... Uh, here, quick, look, the patrol. Oh, the patrol, come on. Flat. You look terrible. Here, fix yourself up. Me? Oh, Bob, you're no beauty yourself. <laughs> Here, let's go to this table way over there. All right. your example. You ran away, too. Oh, Don, why did you do it? There was enough money to put you through college and give you a decent break. Yes, but that's not the kind of a break I want. I want to see... I know, I know. Romance and adventure. Before you get through with this, you'll wish you'd never heard those words. Is that Big Brother stuff already? You're in the toughest outfit in the world. We pride ourselves with outside of our own kind. We have no friends. All of us are drifters. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. Do you know, I did so hope that you'd be a great lawyer or a doctor or something. What's the use? You're in. Now you're talking. And then I saw you on the light began on you. My heart romance when I was through with love. I met you just by chance. The stars were soft above. The night was so divine. My heart was thrilled. How well do you know that girl? Oh, I hit this spot the first night I was in town. I practically live in the joint. Yes, but this girl. Oh, Nina. 
Oh, I'm tops with her. That's what you think. She happens to be Garcia's girl. If you take my advice, you'll leave her alone. Say, I wonder what's happened to Muggsy and Bilgey. Maybe we'd better go see if they're in any trouble. Well, will you need me? Not particularly. Why? Well, I thought if you didn't, I might hang around a while. Okay, kid. Muggsy, you certainly take good care of that thing. Yeah. That's a sort of an heirloom. It's a good luck piece. You know, my old man carried that Jew's harp all through the Morrow campaign, and he never got a scratch. No fooling? He wasn't good in action without it, neither would I. Oh, now, you're not serious. Well, sure. Look at me now. I've always been lucky about my bunk mates. There's your brother on one side, and here's you on the other. You ought to see the guy that had that bunk ahead of you. There was a swell guy. He was a Belgian. Name was uh, Morel. What became of him? Got bumped off. There was an Arab wanted to see what made him tick. And he pried him open with a coop coop. That's a knife, some kind, isn't it? Yeah, a knife, a long curved blade. They shove it in between your ribs and they twist it like that. That's what they call a coop over here. I'll uh, skip the ride. Loading each other's bent. Give me that screwdriver. What's been eating you lately? You're as sociable as Garcia. Bilgey, I'm worried about Don. The lad's quite all right. There's no need to worry about him. Yes, he's getting off on the wrong foot. Well, if you're thinking of him and Nina. Yes, that's just what I am thinking. Blimey, she must be pretty bad. I didn't say she was bad. She's okay, I guess. I just don't want Don getting into any trouble on her account, that's all. You ain't walking out on us, are you? Well, uh, I got something to do, Muggsy. I'll see you later. This is a fine time of day for you to go prancing around a cafe. Well, how do you know I'm going there? Because you're blushing. I hope it's about a girl. You don't seem to be able to forget her yourself. Jealous? Listen, kid. You are supposed to be a man now. And I want to see you make good. Out here, there are just two things get a guy. Liquor and other men's women. You're playing both. Will you quit being a big brother and be a pal? Oh, all right, all right. Oh, please, Doc. No more brandy. You've had enough. So now I'm going to get a lecture from you, too, huh? No. I just don't want you to uh, drink like the others. I hear that all day long from Bob. And when I come down here to forget about it, you hand it to me. Well, I'm getting sick and tired of it. I'll drink as much as I want. Nina, I'm sorry. Don, the few weeks since you've been here, I've thought about you very much. You're clean and fine. So different from the others who come here. Huh. Wherever you are is okay with me. No, no, please, let me finish. Your brother, Bob, he's so proud of you. Oh, he's a fine man, Don. One of the best. No, but I get so tired of his lectures about well, drinking and... About me? Well, he can't tell me what to do. Oh, please, no, no. Well, you've been fooling with me. There's someone else. There is someone else. Garcia, listen, he may be top kick around here, but he's not going to keep me away from you. You just can't help looking for trouble. You're too smart to take a brother's advice. Okay, play it your own way, but get this. From now on, you're on your own. You haven't got much more sense either. You can leave her out of this. Take it easy, puppy. I'm not going to say another word. I just wash my hands of you. I didn't want to come between your brother and you. I'm sorry. You know you were wrong. 
Why don't you go and apologize to Bob? If I do, will you kiss me? You silly boy. So, all I've heard about you is this recruit is true. You are just the time. I've been waiting for this chance to put you in your place. Private Robert Carter, consider yourself on duty. Take Private Donald Carter to the guardhouse. I charge him with striking his superior. Private Carter, you're under arrest. Forward march. Put yourself in the spot when you could swing across you. Well, what'll they do to me? I'm afraid it means the penal battalion. Oh, well, I can take it. Oh, you don't know anything about it. They'll give the works to the penal battalion. They've learned all about torture from the Arabs. Hey, he's kidding, isn't he? I only wish he were. Don't you see, Leela? It is my fault. I must help them. Leila, there are those in Tabala who are fixed for Ahmed? Yes, one or two. Find them at once. It is Ahmed's command. Right away. Blow me if I ain't break my brains clear through for an idea what to do. Ah, you. I thought and figured till my fingers is numb. Oh, you two don't have to worry about it. It's my trouble. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to Colonel Law. Hey, you can't do that. Huh? You can't do that. Yeah. But now, hey, if you're gone, we're going with you. Oh, that's swell of you, Muggsy. But this is a one-man job. Did you find them? Good. Show them in. Good afternoon. You have a message of interest to us? Yes, I have. Sheik Ahmed is my friend. He would want you to help me. You have credentials? This card. We are at your command. Sergeant Garcia caused the arrest of a legionnaire this afternoon. We were in the square. Then you know. Yes. What is it you wish us to do? It will be my fault if they sent him to a penal battalion. I want you to get him away from here tonight. Tonight? Well, that will be impossible. And what if we should effect this escape? Take him to Oran. There he can get a ship. He will be safe. Perhaps when they change the guards. Then you will do it? You can depend on it. Thank you. Your coming to me without the consent of your superior officer is in strict violation of orders. However, Private Carter, in view of the circumstances, I've granted permission for this interview. Thank you, sir. Stand at ease. What have you to say? Sir, my brother is only a boy. I guess the kind of life that I've led, soldiering in half a dozen different countries, fired his imagination. He didn't quite realize that in the Foreign Legion, discipline must come before everything else. It isn't only that I don't want to see my brother sent to the penal battalion, but also because I think that too harsh a punishment at the outset may spoil a fine soldier. If the Colonel will give the boy another chance, I guarantee that my brother's attitude will be different. Owing to your own splendid record, I'll see what I can do for him. The Colonel is most generous. That will be all.
Sergeant Carter has escaped. Guards! Well, I can't think of a single place we've missed. Hey, what's the matter with us guys? We've been running our legs off looking for Don, and we've been so close to him, he could have tripped us. Well, when you're looking for a guy that's got a dame that he's nutty about, where do you find him? With the dame. You're right. Hey, wait for us. Oh, millionaire. Where's Nina's room? I don't think you should. Oh, crap, we're going to bust down every door in this joint. It's the third door on the left. Uh. Perhaps I have been all wrong about you, but I think you know where Don is. Can't you understand how I feel about the boy? The only reason I kept him away from you was on account of Garcia. Oh, Garcia never meant anything to me. Won't you please believe me? All right, Nina, I do believe you. Now, if you really love Don... But I do not love Don. Then why did you help him to escape? Because I knew it, it would hurt you if they sent him to a penal battalion. Then you did help him? Yes, I sent him out of the country. So the Legion can do nothing to him. Out of the country? Did I do wrong? Blimey. The kid ain't got a chance. You've just put him in front of a firing squad, that's all. Oh, no! Nina, don't you see? You must tell me where he is. I had everything fixed with Colonel Laurent. If he's not here in the morning, he'll be charged with desertion. He's on his way to Oran. Oran? Ahmed's men are helping him. Helping him? Those Arabs will kill him. They'll take him to Ahmed. Maybe I can stop them before they get past El Macri. Well, say, listen, if you think you're going without us, you're crazy. Just a blooming lunatic. But I'm going without leave. It's a court martial. Maybe you think we're traveling on the Colonel's passport, huh? Mela, quick! My riding things, quick! <laughs> You here, a private yacht. Did you hear the whistle? Come on, we're going back to Zavala. The only place I'm going is out of the country. Get on that horse. Listen, I didn't ask you to come out here after me, and I'm not going back with you. Get that? my enemies, and that you seek shelter in my house. Yes, sir, that's true. And what about the rest of you men? We've had enough of the Legion. Yeah, that's it. Do any of you understand the operation of machine guns? He's a blinking daisy. Yeah, he, he means that this guy is tops. He, he knows more about machine guns than you do about a harem. What they mean is that I'm a machine gun expert. I see. You can render me a valuable service. I offer you hospitality and promise you a suitable reward.
You legion dogs lied to me. You did not come here seeking my patronage. Instead, you tried to stop this one from reaching my village. You shot his escort and would have taken them back to Tabala had my men not arrived in time. Hm. Now I will show you just how hospitable Ibrahim Ulamet can be. Take those three away. Let this one remain. Right, move on! Move on! Do you know anything about those machine guns? Yes, I, I was learning to operate them in Tabala. Good. The best I have shall be at your disposal. My servant will arrange quarters for you in my house. But what about my friends? That may depend on you. Oh. I'm at a loss to explain it. Privates Robert Carter, Callahan, and Bridgewater all had such splendid records. True, but they must have deserted. Shall I send for a spy detachment and run them down? Not necessary. If they don't die of thirst, one of our mid roving bands will torture them to death. We'll post them as deserters, of course. Yes, sir. Here's a matter of graver importance, Captain Dubois. I am sending your 20th company to take over Fort Al Hassan. It's a vital spot. I have information that Ahmed is preparing to launch an attack against it. And practically control our entire frontier. Your company must get there first and hold it at any cost. I understand, sir. Anyone who claims to know the manner of putting together a machine gun, <laughs> you seem to be having a difficult time of it. Well, uh, this gun's a little different from the ones I've handled. I'll get it, all right. Mademoiselle Nina de Bernay. Bonjour, mademoiselle. You honor my humble dwelling. You did a favor for me once. I could never forget. You're most kind to you, Ahmed. I sent a young legionnaire to Oran with two of your men. Yes, I know. Uh, he didn't reach there. What happened? Oh, do not be alarmed. He is safe. Uh, let me show you. The escort brought him to me. Uh, he will be safe here. You will get him across the border? Your wish, mademoiselle, is a command. Uh, but for the moment, it is impossible. Impossible? When he has finished the task, he agreed to accomplish. It will be my pleasure to do as you wish. Will you give me a few minutes alone with him? You are my guest. You will bring the young machine gunner from the courtyard. I will return. It shall be my pleasure to see that your every wish is gratified, uh, while you are my guest. Just a moment, please. Don't you see? I had your men abduct this legionnaire. Now he's a deserter. He will be shot if they catch him. You have my promise, mademoiselle. But the legion will capture him. Unless he escapes immediately. I am not afraid of your legion. It is they who should fear me. In three days, Fort Rahab will be mine. Fort Rahab? Then you will be sent back to Tabala and your friends across the border. Nina! Done. You've got 
got to get away from here. I thought Ahmed was our friend. He isn't. He's an enemy. You must escape, understand? Must. Well, where can I go? Back to Dabala. It's your only chance. Well, I'm not going back to Dabala. Do you want to see me disgraced? Besides, Bob and the boys are here. Bob? Here? Yes, we were all captured. Oh, he was right about everything. We were fools. It's my fault. Nina, you love Bob? I've always loved Bob. I am sorry to interrupt, mademoiselle. Is there no way to persuade you to release this legionnaire? It is impossible, mademoiselle. Am I your prisoner too? My charming guest. You will see that Mademoiselle de Barnet, three days hence, is safely conducted to Tabala. And now you will please excuse us. You will assemble those machine guns at once. I'll do nothing of the kind. I said you will assemble those machine guns. And I said I'll do nothing of the kind. I have decided. You will assemble the machine guns. That's what you think. I have ways to make you do my bidding. Come. When the guns are assembled, your brother will be spared. Release him. I'll do anything you ask. I compliment you on your intelligence. Well, I'm the heel. It's my fault we got into this mess. Listen, kid, do you think you're the first person in the world that ever made a mistake? I know, but now we have to fix guns and turn them on our own men. Ah, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. If we can satisfy old Horseface with these chop choppers, we might be able to bump off a couple of them Arabs and beat it over the hill. I'm filing the ejector dogs almost through. After the first few shots are fired, they'll snap off and jam the guns. What are you going to do when Ahmed asks for a firing test? See to it that it's made with one of the good ones. Two of them are going to work. Yes, but if he ever finds out, it'll be curtains for us. That's a chance we've got to take, kid. Well, are the guns ready? We're working on the last ones now. That is well. Uh, what about this one? That one's ready. Come with me. I wish you to make tests and instruct our men. I plan to reach for Rahab at dark. You and your friends will fight, dressed as my men are dressed.
sorry. die than see this happen to you. You mean you would give your life to save mine? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I can't let you do that. But I can give you a chance to risk it to save the Legion. All right. None of us could possibly get away from here. But you have the freedom of the palace. You might manage it. Escape? Yes, escape. Get back to the Legion. Tell them that Ahmed is going to attack Fort Ryan. I'll do it. You must get there. You can't fail. Not only my life hangs on it, it's the whole Legion. I'll do it for you. Battery reports there's something moving on the desert. I'll take a look. Corporal Martin, post your squad. Are the camels protected? Yes, it is. The riflemen posted? Yes, it is. The machine gun's placed? How about this one? Then take it and place it on the left wing. Yes, sir. Everything ready? Yes. There's a machine gun on top of that dune trained on you. There's another one behind that dune trained on you. At your first false move, my men are instructed to fire on you. Understood? Your object is to keep the legionnaires inside of the fort. Don't waste ammunition. Wait till they come out. Right? Right. I wish old horse face Allie had start this party. Sitting around here doing nothing is like playing seven-hand stud poker waiting for that last card to fall. Righto. And I don't half like it either. What with them blooming Arabs at the back of us, the Legion in front, we're sure to get it. Uh, when you ain't gumming things up, you're beefing. Hey, do I look as much like an Arab as you do in that Mother Hubbard? Maybe it won't be so blooming funny when you see me a-laying out on that sand a-turning cold. Uh, dang them marriage for taking my clothes, you know. I don't feel right without my juice harp. Are you serious about that, Muggsy? I got a hunch I'm gonna need that. I need it bad. How do you feel, kid? Oh, I'll be all right. You'll feel better after we get started. 
They're waiting around to get you down. Bob, if anything does happen, I want you to know I'm sorry I got you into this mess. Oh, forget it. It's pretty swell of you to take it like that. I guess Muggsy and Bilgey probably think I'm a fine heel. Oh, don't worry about them. They're all for you. Anyone can take what you did as a man. Bob. Yes, kid? You know, Nina doesn't love me. No? I thought she did. Oh, she told me it was you. She's a pretty swell gal. Uh-huh. We ain't got a chance, Muggsy. It only us, Bilgey. We don't get a break, the boys down the fort's gonna get it. What do we do now? Play ball just as long as we can. Shoot the ground at the fort, anything. And if they do charge, we'll pump lead into those Arabs till they get us. Yes, C.D. It's a company of legionnaires coming in our direction. There's only one thing to do. Take the fort before they arrive. Get your men. We attack at once. All right, men. In your shirt, Bilgey. Right out. Let the blighters have it. Have your men too easy on the ammunition. We're running low. We need all we've got for the final attack. Yes, sir. I don't see how the fort can hold out much longer. You don't know the Legion. in the wrong place, kid.